Real User Monitoring, or RUM, is Sumo Logic's robust monitoring technology that records and analyzes all user transactions and interactions with a website or web application in real time. Before adding the RUM libraries to your website and collecting data automatically, you may want to do some initial manual testing using RUM on your website for evaluation and analysis. In this video, we'll show you how to use the RUM HTTP Traces app and inject RUM directly into your browser for manual testing of your website. First, log into the Sumo Logic website and navigate to Manage Data Collection, and then either create a new hosted collector or choose an existing one from the list. Click the Add Source link on the right side of your collector entry. On the following page, locate the source entry labeled RUM HTTP Traces. Enter a name and optionally a description, source host, and source category. The section labeled Advanced Options for Browser RUM will require you to enter a service name that will be listed in traces within the Sumo Logic website. Other fields are optional and can be used for advanced configuration down the road. Consult the FAQ on the right side for help on the purpose and use of these advanced fields. When finished with the RUM configuration, click Save. The following pop-up window will display an HTTP source script written in JavaScript that can be copied to your clipboard. The source script pop-up will provide you three distinct versions, synchronous, asynchronous, and an optional NPM script for sites that utilize NPM for package management. We recommend using the asynchronous script for most websites, as it won't interfere with normal page load operations. The synchronous version can be a fallback option if you find that the async version is starting late and missing important events. To use the provided script, you will need to install a plugin that runs custom JavaScript for the browser you are using. For instance, the custom JavaScript for Websites 2 plugin can be used for Chrome browsers. Navigate to the website you wish to test, then open the plugin and configure the pattern of URLs you want to inject using a regular expression. Paste in the script from the RUM HTTP Tracer app. The script has already been configured with the proper URL to send website information back to Sumo. Save the script, and then start to use features of your website normally. After website events have been recorded and ingested into the Sumo service, you can return to the Sumo website and locate the tracing source under your collector, labeled RUM HTTP Traces. From here, you can navigate directly to the log entries related to your RUM traces using this button. Another option is to open a traces window and analyze the user experience that way. You can also view Sumo's specialized RUM dashboard by opening a new Explore window and then selecting Real User Monitoring. We hope this video has helped you understand how to inject RUM into any website for testing through the RUM HTTP Traces app. Thanks for watching.